Lake, Michigan, and um, it's good to be back. And again, we have a situation where the former president is uh, insulting the people of the state, this time saying that auto workers, um, that their important and good and highly skilled work could be performed by a child, which is just further evidence that Donald Trump comes from a place where he really does not appreciate or understand how most people in our country work very hard for all that they have and that there is great dignity in their work. Um, in addition, I, you know, I've been hearing reports that his team at least is saying he's suffering from exhaustion. And um, that's apparently the excuse for why he's not doing interviews. And of course, he's not doing the CNN town hall. Um, he refuses to do another debate. And, you know, look, being president of the United States is probably one of the hardest jobs in the world. And so we really do need to ask if he's exhausted being on the campaign trail. Um, is he fit to do the job? And I think that's a question that is an open-ended question that he needs to answer. Thank you all. There's a lot of, you're, you're in a state where there's a lot of opposition to you from pro-Palestinian voters. Um, in light of the recent news uh, this week in the Middle East, does your message to them change? What's your message to them in the final few weeks? Well, my message remains, first of all, we have got to end this war. And I think that what has happened now with the, the killing of Sinwar um, creates an opportunity for us to end this war and bring the hostages home. And I think everyone wants this war to end. And this is an opportunity to actually get it. Ma'am, Madam President Trump has been very critical. Why it's sort of the race still remains incredibly tight. I know you've been out campaigning. What's your sort of like thesis of the case for why it remains so tight? Look, it's 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 an election for President of the United States. It's not supposed to be a cakewalk for anyone. There are very important issues at play, and I am clear, and I think the people that you hear right now in the background are clear that Donald Trump is unfit for the office. He is unstable, and he frankly is a danger to our democracy, as has been described by his former Chief of Staff, Secretaries of Defense, National Security Advisor, and former Vice President. Yeah, Caitlin, go ahead. The former go President, ahead. President, the former yeah. president uh, has been critical of you not attending the Al Smith dinner last night. As you were talking about him being exhausted, do you think that that's one reason why he chose to go to New York City rather than come out here on the campaign trail? Well, I'm beyond getting into the head of Donald Trump, <laughs> but I will say that it should be a concern if he can't handle the rigors of the campaign trail, is he fit to do the job? I think it's a legitimate question. Madam Vice President. Thank you. Thank you.